How you doing dessert junkies? I hope you had a great Easter break last weekend and for me I got heaps of stuff done but I also started looking up my family tree because they had those ads for Ancestry.com, you've seen them, where they say you'll never know what you can find. So I started looking at my family tree. I found out so far that my great grandmother has actually changed her name three times. She's like Snoop Dogg. And then I actually have a great uncle that is from originally Louisiana. So I have a southern connection to southern America there. And of course then I started thinking about southern food and I was thinking fried chicken and gumbo and jambalaya. And what goes well with these? Cornbread. So I made some and I'm going to show you guys how. So this is how you make cornbread. Okay guys, to get started into our bowl, we've got our cornmeal, and this is also known as polenta. So if you can't find cornmeal where you live, try polenta. Then we've got our self-raising flour here. Then we've got essentially baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, I use just caster sugar, and then around about a teaspoon of salt. So it's got a bit of a sweetness, savory taste. Into a separate bowl, we're going to crack in two eggs, which have been set at room temperature. So get your eggs out as soon as you start cooking. If you've forgotten to do this, great tip. Pop your eggs in a jug of warm water and they'll be room temperature in about 10 minutes. Give your eggs a light little beat here. And then it's time to add in our butter. And give that a whisk too, just so you can break down the butter. And of course, if you are going to melt the butter, allow it to cool a bit so you don't get scrambled eggs. Then I'm going to add in Greek yogurt. Now, if you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use milk here. I just like using yogurt. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's something about it, just the taste and the texture just works for me with yogurt. Then we've got a little bit of milk there that we're going to whack in. And then get all your wet ingredients and mix them with your dry. Now, you will see in a minute that I start mixing this and going, geez, this is really thick. And wondering why and then realizing oh shit I forgot the canola oil so make sure you pump in your oil with your wet mixture here's the uh, canola part I forgot this is actually not canola this is just rice brand oil because I don't actually have canola but, but go for something that doesn't have its own flavor so not olive oil probably a vegetable oil rice brand oil grapeseed you know nothing that doesn't have a very strong flavor once you've got this all mixed, you're going to pop this into a lined baking tray. I used like a little brownie tray, nothing too big, probably 20 centimetres long, 10 centimetres wide, and, and just whacked her in there. You know, this is not graceful, guys. This is soul food. You've got to put love into it, whereas I whack it in there. Bake it. Out it comes. Lovely and golden. Allow it to cool a little bit and cut it into cubes to have with your fried chicken and your gumbo. There it is, guys. Cornbread. How easy is that? So here you have it folks, how easy is that? It's just something that goes so well with all these dishes and I just like the taste of it. I don't know what it is about cornbread, but I just like it. So please, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. It is below or in the links below if you're watching on a mobile device. That's your iPad, your iPods, your phones, etc. And of course, this Friday is Anzac Day where we remember the people that have served our country, lest we forget. So thank you to those people who have served our country this Friday on Anzac Day. And we will see you all next Wednesday. Bye, guys.